Today we'll be solving systems using the equal values method. But the one caveat here is that when we use the equal values method, both equations are in y equals mx plus b form. As you see in this system, neither one of the equations are in y equals mx b form, mx plus b form, but it's in standard form. So what we have to do, there's two steps to these problems. First, we have to convert each of the equations in from standard form into the slope intercept form of y equals mx plus b, and then set them equal to each other. So let's go ahead and get started. In this first equation, I see that a negative 2x plus y equals 10. I'm going to go ahead and add 2x because I want to keep this y all by itself. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. When I do that, this drops out to 0. y is then equal to 2x plus 10. So I have my first equation in y equals mx plus b. Let's work on my second equation. In this second equation, I have 2x plus y equals a negative 6. Now I want to keep this y on the left-hand side all by itself. So that means that I'm going to have to move this positive 2x, which is a positive, and I'm going to add its inverse, which is a negative 2x, to both sides. When I do that, I find out that this becomes 0 and drops off, and y equals negative 2x minus 6. So both equations, here's my first equation, and here is my second equation. So in this step, I changed the equations from standard form into y equals mx plus b form, so I can solve by equal values method. So remember we talked about in previous videos that equal values method is when I set y equal to y. Therefore, I'm going to put 2x plus 10 equal to a negative 2x minus 6. And I got it from this equation and this equation. So in looking at this equation, I'm going to go ahead and add 2x to both sides, giving me 4x plus 10 is equal to, this is 0, is equal to a negative 6 when I bring it down. Therefore, I'm going to subtract 10 on both sides. This becomes 0. My 4x comes down and it's going to be equal to a negative 16. When I divide by my coefficient of 4, because always the number in front of the x, I want x by itself, so I have to divide by that number. That shows me that my final answer is x equals, and this is a positive 4, so a negative and a positive gives me a negative answer, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. So here in this solution is my x value. Remember that to find our solutions, we're looking for an ordered pair that shows where these two lines intersect. And so this one is a x value is a negative 4. Now I have to plug in this negative 4 into one of these equations. But since I adjusted the equations into y equals mx plus b, I can plug it into one of those as well. So I'm going to try the first one. y equals 2x plus 10. y equals 2. I'm going to replace with parentheses. So I could substitute in the negative 4 plus 10. So 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8 plus 10. Therefore, my final y value is 10 minus 8 is a positive 2. So here is my solution. These, this ordered pair is where these two lines intersect. Let's go ahead and try another one. I'm going to go ahead and move this equation off to the side. I'm going to pull out another one. 
let's go ahead and get started. So if I look at this first equation, I see x equals 2y equals, oops, excuse me, I wrote that incorrect. So I have x plus 2y is equal to a negative 1. So I'm going to add a negative x to both sides. That cancels out, leaving me with 2y minus x minus 1. I'm going to go ahead and divide each term by 2. And this has a negative, a 1 right there, so it's a negative 1x over a half. So now I have y equals a negative 1 half x minus 1 half. Now just because you see fractions, don't get scared because we know how to do fraction busters and get rid of those fractions really quickly. So let's go ahead and look at the next one. 4x minus 4y equals 20. I'm going to subtract a 4x on both sides. That becomes 0. Therefore, I have a negative 4y equals a negative 4x plus 20. Divide each term by the coefficient of a negative 4. Therefore, y is by itself. Negative 4 divided by negative 4, x is by itself. And 20 divided by a negative 4 is a negative 5. <coughs> Excuse me. So here are our two equations where we can do the equal values method. So let's plug them in. Let's put them side by side. We have negative 1 half x minus 1 half equals x minus 5. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides using our fraction buster technique. We look at our denominators, they're the same, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Therefore, 2 times a negative 1. These 2's cancel out, so I will have a negative 1x minus 1. 2 times a negative half is a negative 1. Equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 5 is a negative 10. So let's go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides because I want all of my x's onto the left side of the equation or the equal sign. So I have, <coughs> excuse me, negative 1x and a negative 2x gives me a negative 3x minus 1 equals, and this 2 and negative 2 becomes 0 and it equals a negative 10. So let's go ahead and add 1, because I need to get all my constants onto the left hand, I mean the right hand side. So I will have negative 3x equals a negative 9. So I don't go over my little bitmoji, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get all to up-to-date videos on your math lessons for our middle school curriculum. I'm going to write that once again. And so I'm going to divide by my coefficient of a negative 3, where negative 3 divided by negative 3 is x, and negative 9 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 3. So now that I have the value of x equals 3, I'm going to plug it in to one of these equations. I think this one looks a little easy, a little bit easier than the fractions up here. So we are going to have y equals, put in parentheses, my positive 3 minus 5. That will give us y equals a negative 2. So the solution 
solution to this system. Here is the ordered pair. The system is going to be the x value is 3 and the y value is a negative 2. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video. Um, click on to the next video that you see right behind in the end cap. Once again, please subscribe to Math is Simple and come back here for all your math needs.